good morning students so today we will learn about conjunctivitis so what is conjunctivitis it is an eye disorder in which there is inflammations of the conjunctiva there will be inflammation of the conjunctiva okay uh, conjunctiva means uh, it is a mucous membrane that covers the front of the eye and it lines the inside of the eyelids it is the most common ocular disease which means um, those that affect the eye health and vision in patient of all different ages it can affect children it can affect old age people but mostly it can it is an eye disorder which affect older people and it can affect the young ones uh, next is, it is characterized by a pink appearance uh, term as pink eye conjunctivitis is term as pink eye uh, next is we can see its causes that is it can uh, conjunctivitis can be caused by bacterial infection such as chlamydia and it can cause by viral infection such as herb simplex virus and third one is, is it can uh, cause by fungal infections uh, fungal infection and next is it can also cause by parasitic infections um, due to allergic reaction it can also cause due to any kind of allergic reaction such as uh, by pollens and uh, also it can cause by exposure to like toxic fumes uh, smokes or hair spray and its types is the uh, types of conjunctivitis there are three types of conjunctivitis that is microbial conjunctivitis and allergic conjunctivitis and third one is toxic conjunctivitis there uh, in microbial conjunctivitis there are two subtypes that is uh, bacterial conjunctivitis and viral conjunctivitis so uh, we will learn about like bacterial conjunctivitis uh, it is it can be like acute or chronic like for acute like it can be for short course or 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 it can be persist for a long time so the acute type can be developed into chronic uh, chronic conditions chronic bacteria uh, chronic bacterial conjunctivitis seen in patients with lacrimal duct obstructions the chronic uh, the chronic bacterial conjunctivitis are seen in uh, like lacrimal duct obstruction those patients who have lacrimal duct infections uh, obstructions that means um, lacrimal duct duct obstructions means um, there will be a block tear duct uh, due to which uh, our tears can't drain normally leaving you with a watery uh, eye or irritated eye so uh, it chronic bacterial conjunctivitis also seen in a, uh, those patients who have chronic blepharitis blepharitis means chronic blepharitis means uh, it is a common disease of eyelids characterized by redness it is characterized by redness and uh, it also it is also characterized by thickening and flaky or scaly uh, crusting along the eyelids there will, there will be uh, scaly crusting around the eyelids and eyelashes sometimes known as eye dandruff so uh, next one we will see uh, the common causative microorganisms of um, bacterial conjunctivitis are streptococcus pneumonia staphylococcus aureus and uh, chlamydia gonococcal uh, it can be due to uh, haemophilus influenza so next we can see uh, sinus symptoms of bacterial conjunctivitis uh, there will be redness in the eye uh, burning and discharge from the eye uh, there will be conjunctival irritations exudates there will be con uh, exudates of the eye and a person will witness tearing and there will photophobic that is like uh, abnormal sensitivity to light next we, will, we can see viral conjunctivitis which comes under microbial conjunctivitis in viral the common causative organisms are adenovirus and herb simplex virus next we can see sign and symptoms of um, viral infections sign and symptoms of uh, viral conjunctivitis that is uh, that is respiratory infection symptoms we can uh, see there will be in uh, respiratory infection symptoms and tearing uh, tearing in the eye uh, there will be redness of the eye uh, foreign 
foreign body sensation will be present there will be lead edema edema lead edema which means like eyelid edema little uh, there will be little swell, swollen of the eyelid and pathosis pathosis which means drooping eyelids um, and pathosis drooping eyelids means uh, drooping on the upper eyelid when the upper eyelid droops over the eye which means droops means like hang down to uh, downwards or bend downwards and next is conjunctival hyperemic which means dilatations of um, conjunct conjunctival blood vessels the second type of conjunctivitis is allergic conjunctivitis which means it is hyper it is a hypersensitivity reactions commonly uh, allergic rhinitis pollens and environmental allergens so uh, allergic conjunctivitis are like it is due to hypersensitivity reactions commonly like due to an allergic uh, rhinitis or due to pollen environmental allergens so next is we can see uh, sign and symptoms of sign and symptoms of allergic conjunctivitis that is extreme pruritis extreme pruritis means it's uh it's refers to a feeling of like a feeling or sensation of your skin that want to scratch uh, that is extreme pruritis and next is um ep epiphore that is excessive uh, secretions there will be excessive secretions of tears and next is the severe photophobia there will be severe photophobia in allergic conjunctivitis next we can see third type of uh, conjunctivitis that is toxic conjunctivitis by name itself you know like what is conjunct toxic conjunctivitis uh, so it occurs through medications like uh, chlorine from like swimming pools while uh, you while in swimming pool uh, due to chlorine uh, due to chlorine it can occur like exposure to the toxic fumes among uh, among industrial workers or exposure to other irritants like such as smoke it can also it can cause due to exposure to the other irritant like smoke hair sprays uh, it can also cause by acids or alkalis next we can see like uh, sinus symptoms of toxic conjunctivitis that is uh, it, it can be like there will be foreign body sensations uh, and person with a scratching or burning there will be scratching and burning sensation to the patients and itching or itching of the eye there will be uh, patient will feel itching in the eye and photophobia photophobia which means like um, there will be abnormal sensitivity to the light and next is there will be eye ache Red, uh, and next uh, that is redness of the eye Sign symptoms will be redness of the eye and next we can see diagnostic investigations of toxic conjunctivitis that is presence of positive clinical manifestations and we uh, we can investigate the swab smear investigate by swab smear next we can come to the management of the management of all the conjunctivitis types of conjunctivitis the management of conjunctivitis depend on the type it depends on the type that how we will manage uh, for severe cases topical for severe cases we use a uh, topical antibiotic eye drops or any kind of ointment are prescribed by a physician uh, so next uh, that is uh, by uh, it depends on severe cases so we uh, we will see one by one there is first one is bacterial conjunctivitis in bacterial conjunctivitis uh, the management will be acute bacterial conjunct conjunctivitis is almost self limit lasting to limit lasting to like uh, two weeks if untreated if untreated the bacteria the acute bacterial conjunctivitis will last up to like two weeks and if treated with antibiotic it may last for few days so next we can see uh, for trachoma broad spectrum antibiotic is administered for uh, for trachoma uh, we can like broad spectrum antibiotic is administered next is management of uh, viral conjunctivitis that is there uh, we can give cold compressions may alleviate some symptoms uh, like giving a cold compression it can reduce 
some symptoms of viral infections like viral conjunctivitis and uh, proper high proper hand hygiene should be maintained avoid to share like hand towels face clothes eye drops of the infected person and next is uh, like disinfect all the equipments used for eye examinations next we will uh, see for management of allergic conjunctivitis in this we can give corticosteroids for seasonal or vernal conjunctivitis and vasoconstrictions such as constrictors such as topical epinephrine solutions cold compression ice packs and cool ventilations uh, should be provided uh, that it, it will provide comfort by decreasing swelling we can like we can provide ice pack or cool ventilation should be provided to the infected patients and uh, fourth one is toxic conjunctivitis so it's uh, to management of toxic conjunctivitis are it is caused by chemical irritants uh, the to toxic conjunctivitis are caused by chemical irritants the eye must be irrigated so i must be immediately irrigated with like sterile water and saline after exposure to the chemical irritants 